Hey everybody, Lincoln Smith here with Eastwood Guitars. Today, I'm here with my Eastwood Surfcaster. I'm going to be going over how to adjust the tension of the tremolo. Some people like their tremolo to be set up with some give. They like it to be floating so you can push it down or pull it up. I personally don't like the compensatory effect that it has on the string tension. When you play a note, you bend a different note, and that original note goes flat. The added tension to the other strings takes away from the tension of the string that's sounding. To solve this, I like to increase the tension of the tremolo springs to where the bridge is sitting flat against the guitar body, therefore not allowing that bridge to move when you pull other strings. Without any further ado, let's get into it with my one handy tool that I'll need, my screwdriver. Let's go. For this project, I've removed the tremolo arm to allow the instrument to sit evenly across my lap. This gives me a good working surface. The first step, obviously, is to remove the cover. Six screws, and away we go. With those screws removed, we can go ahead and remove the cover plate from the back, giving us access to the tremolo springs. You can see them there keeping tension between the guitar body and the tremolo block. Before I do any adjusting of the springs in the back, I'm going to release some of the tension from the guitar strings themselves. That's because as I increase the tension of the strings in the back, it will pull the bridge flatter against the body, increasing the tension of these strings here. To prevent more tension than necessary or the possibility of even breaking a string, I'm going to be loosening them. With that tension taken off of these strings, I'm going to go to the back and I will be increasing the tension of these springs by tightening these mounting screws up top. That will drive this plate further towards the neck, increasing the length and therefore tension of these strings. If your tension was close to begin with, try only moving these a half turn at a time. A little bit will go a long way in terms of tension. With those screws tightened up a bit, I'm going to go ahead and retune the guitar and test out the tension of the bridge and if it's still pulling those notes out of tune. Now that I'm all tuned up, I'm ready to give this a test to see if that string is still being pulled flat by the other strings being bent. The effect is much less noticeable now. And since it was such a slight adjustment, I haven't changed the height of the strings much. Because it is changing the angle of the bridge, sometimes that will be a factor, but not to worry. If you have an S-style bridge, you should be able to adjust the saddle height. And there we go. My surf caster is perfectly adjusted and ready to take the stage tonight in Chicago. Should hold up with any other instrument with ease. If you're interested in any other tips or tricks or closer looks at guitar models that we have at eastwoodguitars.com, check out the rest of our YouTube page or visit us at eastwoodguitars.com. We'd love to see you there. We do ship free in the United States, the European Union, in the United Kingdom. And we have a great 45 day return policy if something just isn't the right fit for you. So get one of our guitars into your hands today. Let us know what you think and we'll take care of you from there. Thanks for joining me. I've been Lincoln Smith. We'll see you next time at Eastwood.